Fight fam, what's good? Welcome back to the Mic Check Podcast. This is T Word, the People's Champ. Thanks for tapping in. Today, we're talking about Gary Antoine Russell and the news that was recently released that he's been suspended indefinitely by the New York State Athletic Commission. Before we get into the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We certainly appreciate the feedback. All right, so let's get right into it. Gary Antoine Russell, one of the famous Russell family, competing at 140 pounds, uh, a contender level fighter, a former Olympian who was robbed at the Olympics, um, has found himself on the bad end of the news cycle basically all this year. Earlier this year, he and his brother Gary Russell Jr. were mixed up in a situation at the Javante Tank Davis fight with rapper Meek Mill. It got ugly. And Meek Mill actually was escorted from the building or he voluntarily left while the Russells were still in the building as well. Some type of commotion went on. And from what I understand, they were actually both kind of agreeing that Tank was going to win. But the fashion that he was going to win was the point of contention. Whatever the case may be, the Russells were against Meek Mill. The rapper later came on and apologized. We really hadn't heard anything about it from the Russell family. All right, so just to catch you guys up on what's been going on with these guys, um, you had the younger Gary. Gary, it's like Antonio. Um, he's the younger brother. He's at 118. I believe he's Bantamweight. Uh, his last fight was a loss. Uh, Gary Russell Jr., his last fight was a loss. Um, he injured his shoulder in a fight against Mark McSayo early in 2022 and hasn't been seen back in the ring since. However, uh, the family did suffer the loss of their patriarch, um, Gary Russell Sr. So there's been some upheaval. Uh, Gary Russell Jr. has been kind of thrust into the fatherly role, kind of taking control of things and, you know, being big bro, taking care of business, keeping the guys trained. So you can understand the strain that that might have put on the family. That being said, that could create a whole lot of different personal issues within people. We don't know how everybody's going to respond to tragedy, right? So getting to Gary Antoine Russell, by all accounts, there hadn't been anything said that made you think that he was going through anything or, or feeling any type of way about what was going on. Like, I didn't hear anything about a bar fight, anything like that. Where I'm going with this is I don't understand the suspension because he wasn't in New York when the alter, altercation occurred with Meek Mills. Um, they were in D.C. and... I, I hadn't heard of him in any situations. Um, usually, if it's a drug suspension, they'll just say it's a drug suspension. Um, so I don't know if it's a situation where they're paying people to keep quiet until they sort out the dirty details. But it just brings a lot into question. And it also muddies up a specific spot in the championship pitch at 140 pounds because he was in line for the WBA belt against Pueyo if Davies or Kenneth Sims Jr. or somebody like that wasn't in line for this belt you could see where Gary Antoine Russell was going to be that guy to make some noise and he's a big 140 so at some point get a belt move up to 147 when Arrow and 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 Bud are gone and try to make some noise noise there because he's got the frame but it's just my curiosity is getting the best man I want to come on air and talk to you guys about it and just kind of talk it through because I'm trying to find the hook like what exactly went wrong for him to be suspended um, when you look up the news, I've been using Google. Um, you can't find anything that says exactly why he's being suspended. It only says suspended indefinitely. When there's some type of drug suspension or injury suspension, you usually see a date. Like if a guy gets in the fight, he gets a shiner, um, you know, a little bruise, broken skin. Um, you'll still see the typical, you'll see like a 90 day suspension by the medical board. Um, it's not that. It's it's just some mystery some mystery thing like i mean i encourage you guys to go on google and google gary antoine russell suspended indefinitely you're not gonna find anything except a video from everything boxing shout out to keon etb everything boxing great content over there go to like and subscribe and stuff um he's the only one with a video on it up to this point i've heard it on a couple of lives as well and i was just looking to dig for information to share with the listeners but there's nothing there's nothing to show. It's just suspended by New York State Athletic Commission indefinitely. So if anybody has any information out there, please share it with us um, because we're interested in what is going on and why he's been suspended. Again, this is a very promising young fighter. Um, I think he had the potential to be even better than his brother Gary, who's fast hands, quick feet, can really get down. 
great reaction time. I felt like Antoine was just, he was a good combination of a boxer puncher and seeing him not being able to fight because he's suspended for whatever reason, it's just a head scratcher to me. So we're going to leave it right there. Um, just wanted to come in and tap in with you guys and kind of try and figure out exactly what the hell is going on with this particular situation. If you have any news, let me know. This has been T for the Mic Check Podcast. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the cash app if you're feeling generous. Don't forget to check out the Patreon. Until the next time, I'm out. Peace.